This is the 10th video on physics quiz and this will be a 25 part video series wherein we'll be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to various physical phenomena, famous scientists and other frequently asked questions in various exams. You'll find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under physics quiz section. Link is in the description. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comment section. So let's quickly get on with it. Who was the first to state the principle of flotation? Correct answer is Archimedes. Archimedes, the ancient Greek scientist, was the first to state the principle of flotation. Archimedes' principle states that when a body is immersed partly or wholly in a liquid, there is an apparent loss in the weight of the body which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body. What is the upward force experienced by a body when it is immersed in a fluid known as? Correct answer is buoyant force. This upward force is called upthrust or buoyant force. The whole phenomena is called as buoyancy. On which of these factors the buoyancy depends? Correct answer is both A and B. The buoyancy depends upon the following two factors. The volume of the body submerged in the fluid and the density of the fluid in which the body is immersed. What happens to a body when its density is greater than the density of the fluid? This is pretty easy. Correct answer is B. So the body sinks in the fluid in case its density is greater than the density of the fluid. For example, an iron nail has greater density than the water. Therefore, it sinks in the water. Which of the following is not an application of principle of flotation? Correct answer is none of the above. The principle of flotation states that a floating object displaces its own weight of the fluid in which it floats. Some of the applications of the principle of flotation are ships, balloons and submarines, which means all of them have an application of principles of flotation. Which of the following represents the condition for flotation? Correct answer is A. Fb is equal to mg, that is as per the Archimedes principle, an object will float if the buoyancy force exerted on it by the fluid balances its weight, that is F is equal to mg. What happens to a body when its density is equal to the density of the fluid? Correct answer is C, it remains suspended. So if the buoyant force equals the object's weight, the object will remain suspended at that depth. If the buoyant force is greater than the object weight, the object will rise to the surface and float. If the buoyant force is less than the object's weight, the object will sink. The buoyant force is always present whether the object floats, sink or is suspended in a fluid. Fluid can mean a liquid like water or even gases. What do we call the center of gravity of the liquid displaced by a body? Correct answer is center of buoyancy. The center of gravity of the fluid which is displaced by an object is known as center of buoyancy. For stable equilibrium of floating body, the line joining the center of gravity of the body and the center of flotation should be vertical. Which of the following is equal to the upthrust of the body? Correct answer is C. Archimedes principle. When a body is immersed partially or completely in a liquid, it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body. What will be the buoyant force acting on the stone on being immersed in water if it displaces 100 grams of water? Correct answer is B 100 gram weight. Again, as per Archimedes principle, if a stone on being immersed in water displaces 100 grams of water, the buoyant force exerted or acting on the stone will be equal to 100 grams weight. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.